Peggy 16. Respawn Entertainment has smashed all award records for their upcoming debut game, Titanfall. We talked to the team about the studio's origins and their pedigree in making some of the biggest FPS games of all time. We, win. we left everything behind. Hell, getting here was just the beginning. Starting Respawn was super turmoil. You know, a lot of us came into it, a brand new company with a lawsuit. Conditions previously were not so great mm -hmm. at the point that we'd left. So this felt like a very good opportunity to just say, yeah, we're free, we can, we can do whatever we want. You said it would be tough to start over, but I didn't listen. Well, when we started up, I mean, it was literally Jason and I and nothing else. We had people come and join us, but at the time it wasn't, you know, we signed a deal with EA, we didn't have a game idea, we didn't have technology, we didn't have computers, we didn't have anything. We didn't even have a lease on our office space. We were literally squatting. The landlord was nice enough to give us a key in the morning so we could come in. It forced us to be more creative, but it was even more of a challenge to be creative from a logistical standpoint. How do we work on a game when we don't have any tech? The floors here were all nasty and had broken glass and cockroaches. Like, oh. this place had been abandoned for a couple years, and. You know, that was the start of our company. I mean, it was literally guys in folding chairs in a circle just talking about games that they liked, games they didn't like. How long did that last for? Maybe a couple months, and we started getting... A couple months? Yeah, it was a long time. So. Of sitting on folding chairs? Yeah. After you saw the response when you guys showed it off at E3, was it kind of like a sigh of relief? It was a, not just a sigh, it was a trembling, you know, wave of relief. To us as developers and gamers, it was cool because it had all these gameplay mechanics that we really enjoyed playing. Mm -hmm. We had no idea if the public at large was gonna, going to attach to it at all. I was trembling when we unveiled it, thinking, oh gosh, this is it. They found us out, no one's gonna like it. It was like, hey, we're real. Because yeah. before that, you can't talk about it and you can't share it and you have community people that want to know and there's nothing that you can tell them. And so, yeah, that moment, I think, right at the end of the Microsoft press conference where the trailer uh, ran, mm -hmm. and it was, was that moment of like, oh my God, this is a real thing that's happening. And now we have this crazy run from here to March. Going into E3 and, and seeing People's reaction to it finally and not our own was just shocking. So we, we thought, okay, all right, we're, our little team is gonna survive, we can keep going. And some of Titanfall's fiction can, can be seen in Respawn's uh, fiery upbringing and you know, what we went through to get here. Uh, you know, it's us against the world at this point. The police counting on you. Is there a method to the madness? Like, what do you think it is that you guys have that allows you to constantly create such awesome content? We had Medal of Honor, we had uh, Call of Duty. I think it's just an amazing team, and you know, we've grown it from here. We have some, you know, people that have, some of us have worked together for, you know, a dozen years or more maybe, mm -hmm. um, and, and we have some new guys that we've brought on from, from other teams and other successful projects. We have 76 developers. Mm -hmm. um, the company as a whole with our QA staff is under 100. And that's not a lot to, in today's you know, development world. I think it's really down to trusting everyone we hire and listening to everybody. We do company-wide play tests all the time and we want, it, we want everyone to be extremely proud of the game that's on the shelf at the end of it. We are making a game that we truly believe in and want to play. Having this game already with so many accolades, does that add to the pressure? It's better than we ever expected, the response you know, from the public. And you know, it's, it's something that, while you always want that, you, know, you never know. We've been building this for a long time, we've put our hearts into it, but you know, putting it out there, is, it's scary. We are so busy and so focused on making sure we ship the best possible game mm -hmm. that we're not really thinking too much about what everyone else thinks. Having that pressure on you is insane. That's why I say when we, when we went to E3, we were par paranoid, terrified. You know, are we, did we make the right choices? Are people gonna like this? Is it approachable? People's expectations are just through the roof. And mm -hmm. I, I mean, I hope we meet and exceed them, but you know, I just, after looking at it for four years straight, I'd, I have no objectivity anymore. Do you feel like you've made it? Absolutely not. We gotta release something. We gotta have something that people like and want more of. We still have to prove ourselves. It's the proof is once people get it at home, they're sitting on the couch or at their desk, and they're playing the game for real. 